right, today we are in Elgin. We are doing filming locations for Dennis the Menace, the 1993 movie filmed by Nick Castle, or directed by Nick Castle, Michael Myers, the little blonde haired kid with the cowlick. Filmed, part of it was filmed over here. This was made to believe that this was their path that they took to their tree house that they had. And I think that location's in the Miami woods, um, more towards the North shore. So here's the first one. This is where Switch, Switchblade Sam, Christopher Lloyd character and Dennis Semenis had hilarious encounters baked beans getting hit in the head handcuffs he gets tied up because he's so puny he shows christopher lloyd how to tie himself up handcuffs him he falls swallows the key eats all the beans farts blows a flame falls into the water and lands like on a some law raft or something some flat uh concrete thing or something every time he falls into the water hilariousness um this movie is it's a it, it wasn't a it wasn't a flop it did really good in the theater um didn't really kill it but it, it did all right um john hughes he wrote it and yeah they got a lot of slack for it you know because they were like oh it's they followed the, the, the Home Alone formula too much. Um, and critics either liked it or hated it. So an amazing movie. And I'm going to show you some more locations. Let's go. Going on an adventure. All right. We are on an adventure here. There it is. It's a lot more overgrown than it was when Mason Gamble and Margaret were heading over. Might be easier to do this in the winter. We saw a couple deers and stuff. I don't know if this is a man trail or, but there's no real easy path to come here. But this is the way the kids were heading towards the bridge. the rest of my family. All right. So this is where Switchblade Sam and Dennis the Menace. The water that he dove into. I don't see any holes up here because one of the scenes, Dennis lowers down a rope. But I do not see those. What do you think, Milo? Dennis the Menace? Yes? No? No. Is that cool graffiti here? Nice tag. Also distancing with nature, my favorite.
Let's say up there was like a little switching station or something, but there's nothing up there. And then there was like two holes that he dropped the rope down to help get Christopher Lloyd out of the water. Those aren't there, so. All right, so this trail goes to the back of people's property and stuff, so. I'm not sure if they frown on people coming back here or whatnot. So we walked over from where the disc golf place is, trying to hug the tree line. Can't really think of an other better way to get over there. A little Poplar Creek. I'm trying to catch it. Just heard the train going over the bridge. Oh, that would have been a good shot. I can still hear it. Oh man. Oh wow. On to the next location. Right here is Dennis to Menace's house. The trees have grown, overgrown so much on Mr. Wilson's house. You can barely see the porch where Walter Matthau was sitting up there, but you can definitely see the, the, the bump out uh, decoration there with the, the spindles and like looks like balusters and stuff. They added this little, uh, uh, what, do, what do we call that? A little drive-through area. The bushes the, that the Mr. Wilson's standing on was added just for the movie. Christopher Lloyd fell on the ground. Other oh, about here. One of the original cast members from the Dennis the Menace TV show, Janine Russell, makes a cameo as one of the cheap pinchers, I believe. She is the one on the left, who is the little girl, Margaret. Ladies, girls, in Thank you very much. It's just this way. Thank you. Don't embarrass me. That is very overgrown. Mr. Wilson is not keeping his yard looking as pristine. I don't know if the garden club would appreciate all this overgrow. It's still a really cute district here in Evanston, Illinois. All right, we made a little trip over to Wilmette. Here's Margaret's house. It's where she was pulling Dennis and Margaret in the backyard. So here. Now I will turn the camera around so you get the shot. So Leah Thompson pulling them here from the car. I think the shot, something like that. That house is like totally different. They might have tore down that whole house. That looks nothing like what it did. But you barely see her house. It's like they added a little bit more to it. Here's the backyard. I'll see if uh, any of these shots line up when they were talking about going to the treehouse. It doesn't matter anyways, Margaret. We're gonna be leaving soon and we have work to do. We're gonna make a fort. You can't leave unless I go with you or I'll tell on you. 
so tough kitty paws. I'm going. Climb down from it. I'll get my purse. So that tree in the corner is the tree that the boys were up in. Funny scene where she may kiss her doll's butt in the movie. Just close your eyes, pucker up. So, but after this, they head to the tree house, um, which they say is in the uh, Miami woods. Um, I don't know if there's anything to see. I am willing to go there and check it out. I totally forgot to film Margaret's window. But you can kind of see it. It was the only man I ever loved. Um, a lot of these locations are all over the area and stuff. A uh, bunch of locations are in Hinsdale, which is a little bit more of a drive. Um, but I think I want to get them all. So it's a beautiful day and let's go check some more out. Did see a bunch of alleyways with the garages where uh, it looked like Christopher Lloyd's character would have stabbed the apple from the kid, but we so didn't get that one. North Branch, Chicago River. That flow in here. These kind of look like the roots the kids were climbing up on. Trees right up there. Margaret's bringing up her dolly. You don't have a dolly? Yeah, we got a real baby. Let's make sure Switchblade Sam doesn't take our real baby. Who knows why Christopher Lloyd's character stole the baby just because he's evil. <laughs> But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the tree. We could get up a lot more stuff if you didn't have to bring that idiotic doll and all her junk. She's not idiotic. She's an important training tool. Ow! Uh, all right, now we're... We believe this is the tree from Dennis the Menace with the tree house. You get the river right down here. This is Miami Woods, Morton Grove, or Niles, either or, but I'm pretty sure, I don't know, the tree branches seem like this is the one. So uh, people were saying that it, it's pretty noticeable. You'll recognize it when you see it. And I think this is it. So, let's look at it. Pretty a big old tree. Yes, Leah's reminding, this is how you learn how women have babies. They come off the belly button. She doesn't know. Then why do guys have belly buttons? So they don't look weird in bathing suits. I don't know. Duh. Who puts the baby who puts the baby in the in their belly? Men do. Yeah. So Alright. There's the tree. I'm glad we didn't have to hike very far. It's an awesome movie. And a tree the, the tree and if i'm wrong i'm not gonna be wrong I'm, this is the tree <laughs> everything's right uh what if that's, the tree? that's not the tree because they came up from the river don't magic of movies makes things look like things there she is but now they came up from the chicago river the north branch i think that was climbed up the roots to the tree okay. all right so now moving on this is nowhere near the bridge we visited movie magic because 
They're in Elgin. Then they're in Niles Morton Grove area. And then um, then in Hinsdale, they filmed a bunch of uh, the stuff in Hinsdale. And we will head over there and we're gonna film a couple more locations. Uh, the park where Switchblade Sam uh, steals the girl's purse where the cop pulls up and uh, where Dennis drives through the town with his bike and pulling his wagon and what was the third spot oh the garden club the which is a house Man, Dennis come on my name's Eddie come on Dennis Eddie, come on. Now, it is a shame that John Hughes got so much slack for, you know, this movie kind of being a, a Home Alone copycat. Like, they followed the Home Alone formula too much and stuff. But this movie has its own thing, you know. And they were asking a hell of a lot out of the, that Mason Gamble kid. Um, I think he was seven years old. And kids is adorable. And... He is, uh, I think, a marine biologist now because I think he gave up acting. Um, but he was in uh, Rushmore and a couple other movies uh, before he went to college and stuff and became a marine biologist. So, and so that Dennis, he becomes a marine biologist. Jay North. Uh, the original Dennis Menace from the sitcom, he thought his time on the uh, on his TV show was like being in a prison. And lo and behold, where does he work now? He's a prison guard at a prison, which is crazy for an old Hollywood actor, uh, child actor and stuff. And he did not enjoy his time. Uh, on set they wouldn't let him play with the other kids they just kind of kept him locked in his trailer or his place and stuff and yeah they kind of kept him away from everybody and stuff and he didn't really have a good childhood and he wouldn't recommend you know any kids child actors or anyone to, to get into it you know just enjoy your childhood and stuff so and a bunch of them, Margaret and them, ad advocated for uh, the treatment of child actors and stuff. Make sure they're getting paid. Make sure that they're learning, getting educated, and all that stuff. So, some bad, some good. And uh, so, so you got the original Dennis Amena show. Then you got Hank Ketchum's uh, comic strip, which started it all. Not the Dennis Amena's. Uh, across the pond with the black haired Dennis um, supposedly they both came out at the same time they fought over copyright stuff and trying to figure out whose was first but Dennis the Menace Hank Ketchum who did work for Disney uh, he drew uh, what was it some of the Donald Duck cartoons um, I think some Fantasia maybe some Pinocchio and stuff before he became, uh, you know, famous for drawing his comic strip, uh, Dennis the Menace, little blonde-haired kid, based off of his kid, Dennis, was getting into trouble. His wife's like, Dennis, or sorry, your son's a menace, and he came up with Dennis the Menace. Um, so. He, um, so he, I think he left Disney and then uh, started the, the comic strip and it became very famous. And they made some upgrades to the playground. Since then, bench is gone. Still got the same gate. All right, so here's where the cop would be coming down. 
and switchblade Sam would be right behind me. As the cop comes and sees why this homeless looking dude is hanging out here at the park. So, by ear, Christopher Lloyd, he's snatching up a purse. Before. Maybe that's because I ain't ever been around here. What are you up to, buddy? So as the cop says, we've followed the sun out of here. And Christopher Lloyd's like, I only only stopped because you were giving me the breeze. Oh, the scary, 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 scary criminal dude. Fucker, give me the breeze. Probably one of the more scarier, or I don't know, Who Framed Roger Rabbit's pretty. Was it uh, Judge Doom? I think uh, was his name in uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Uncle Fester, so you know, Christopher Lloyd was right there, guys. And this is nowhere near the other locations. This town is adorable. There's the White House. There's like a house that looks like a freaking castle all the way down here, but I don't want to get too distracted filming houses that no one cares about because it wasn't in a movie. But, um, Anyway, we're going to go check in a couple more locations. Uh, go to downtown Hinsdale. Uh, film that. And what was the other one? Uh, the Garden Club. All right. So we'll probably do the Garden Club next. And then we'll do downtown Hinsdale. So, all right. Come with us. Has informed Mitchie. This is the Garden Society, Ladies Home Garden Society. All right, so this is where Mr. Wilson gets chosen to host the garden party or whatever, which eventually uh, Switchblade Sam robs Mr. Wilson. He takes his gold and um, Dennis comes outside and he yells, Mr. Wilson, you've been robbed. And come on, where's there's a nice blue sky it looks white here um and they all turn around and this flower only like blooms for 10 seconds and everyone missed it mr wilson's super upset he tells dennis wish i never met you knew you whatever says some harsh things to a little kid um and then uh which causes you know dennis to take off takes off on his bike and runs into Switchblade Sam and then he ends up under the bridge with Switchblade Sam as his hostage um, because he's, he was out there uh, robbing all the houses and stuff so you know, he took all of Mr. Wilson's gold so anyways uh, ladies oh what the heck was it ladies home garden society so that was here this is a private residence now it is it is not a garden society, but anyways, let's go see the other one. All right, so after Dennis runs away, Mr. Wilson comes here, Walter Matthau, looking for Dennis. 
in the middle of the night. Looks a little different now. First time downtown Hinsdale. This town is super cute. So we'll line up a little bit of uh, where Dennis Menace was uh, bringing his uh, his little bike with the training wheels. You got this building in the background. I know that one's in one of the shots. Let's see. It. So that's in the shot. And then I think he went down this street, down Washington Street. There's a little flower shop canopy over there. He's riding down this way. Flourish. All right. So, like, like I was saying, you know, they get a lot of slack for following the the Home Alone uh, model and stuff, and it didn't help that they had uh, Buzz in the movie as the boyfriend and also the babysitter was the redhead from uh, Russian Doll, uh, American Pie, Slums of Beverly Hills, um, what else is she known for? Um, anyways, oh yeah, but I'm a cheerleader, um, so she was known for a lot of that stuff. Uh, she was in there and like I was saying uh, Buzz from Home Alone whatever that actor's name is um, he was also in there he was the boyfriend he came over to make out with the babysitter and stuff and some hilarious ding-dong ditching uh, Mitchell Dennis Mitchell did and he they put a little thumbtack on the on the doorbell and stuff and Walter Matthau's character got a little push thumbtack into his finger, water dumped on him, and flour dumped on his head. So that's kind of uh, another Home Alone, you know, thing that it got in it that they, the critics were kind of hard on him for it, but it was good. It was its own little beast, you know? And this movie wasn't a flop. It did pretty good in the box office. I saw it at the outdoor movie theater in uh, McHenry, the McHenry Outdoor Movie Theater. They changed the name now to the Lakemore uh, Outdoor Movie Theater. It is still there. I saw Dennis the Menace with a little movie called Jurassic Park, which is directed by Steven Spielberg. And Nick Castle and Steven Spielberg just kind of, it always seems like Nick Castle always gets the the shorter end of the directing straw and stuff because he wrote uh, this really good movie called Hook and they didn't want him to direct it because it was going to be such a big movie so they gave it to Steven Spielberg and it was a great movie Robin Williams D uh, Dustin Hoffman and stuff um, it always seemed like you know Nick Castle always kind of got the shorter end of the straw did the last starfighter major pain uh wrote uh escape from new york right no he is known nick castle is known for you know being mike myers in the halloween 
stuff so but he also he directed a bunch of movies and stuff so and he's a big guy but yeah Nick Castle 1993 this town is so cute little alleyways right off the uh, the railroad tracks lots of little diners outside taking up a lot of uh, parking spots and stuff but kind of kind of works reminds me of the little restaurant dis district in Chicago um, but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video and like and subscribe if you like this type of content I know this movie isn't a huge trending movie or whatever, but I have did not really see anyone doing film content for this movie. This movie was <clears throat> this movie was a big part of my childhood. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching Dennis the Menace the TV show, and I also enjoyed watching Dennis the Menace uh, cartoon with uh, Phil Hartman doing Mr. Wilson and Walter Walter Matthau was a great. Um, get for this one because I loved him and Grumpy Old Man and a bunch of other movies and stuff so uh, if you haven't seen the movie check it out you know it's not gonna wow your socks off but it's, it's definitely a 90s family comedy and yeah see you guys later like and subscribe ring the bell don't forget to comment and let us know what you liked about it. See you guys later.